In this video, we'll explore the magnetic field surrounding magnets. When you put two magnets near each other, they will interact. Depending on which poles are near each other, they will either attract or repel. Here we see two magnets repelling. That means the two poles are the same, a north and a north pole. If we flip both poles around, so we have a south pole near a south pole, we observe the same thing. If we flip only one magnet, then we have a north pole near a south pole, and the magnets attract. The same thing happens around these weaker bar magnets. They're only attracted when a north pole is near a south pole. These magnets appear to be floating in midair and defying gravity, but they are just arranged so like poles are near each other. The two magnets at the bottom are closer together because the bottom magnet has to use its magnetic force to balance out the weight of all the other magnets above it. Not all materials are magnetic. Here's a piece of wood placed near a magnet and nothing happens. When a piece of iron is placed near the magnet, it is attracted. Iron is magnetic. We also can figure out that the iron is oriented so the south pole is near the north pole of the magnet. That is why it is attracted and not repelled. Some materials can be turned into magnets. These paper clips are not magnetic. But if we bring a magnet near one paper clip, it becomes a magnet and will attract the other paper clip. These paper clips become magnets when they are in the invisible magnetic field of another magnet. We can't see this invisible magnetic field, but if we sprinkle magnetic iron filings around a magnet, we can see those iron filings aligning in the magnetic field. We can see the effects of the magnetic field on the iron filings. Here is another way to see the magnetic field lines. What are you bringing, Leo? This simulation also shows the magnetic field lines very clearly. When we diagram the magnetic field lines, the arrows always point from a north pole to a south pole. All we have seen so far is the magnetic field in two dimensions, but the field is actually in three dimensions surrounding the magnet. Here the iron filings align around all sides of the magnet. When magnets interact, they either attract or repel. We can still see the effects of the magnetic field. When a north pole is near a south pole, the lines run from one magnet to the other. Come on, team. Rocket team. Once again, we diagram the lines going from north to south. When a north pole is near another north pole, the magnets still interact. They repel. We can see the magnetic field lines bending away from each other. Remember, the field lines are always drawn coming out of the North Pole. We observe the same thing if a South Pole is near a South Pole, like poles repel. The magnetic field lines are always drawn going into the south pole. Let's look at the wooden block again. The iron filings align in the magnet's magnetic field, but not around the wood because wood is not magnetic. Iron is magnetic, so when iron filings are spread out around it, they align in the magnetic field. The lines are going from the north pole of the bar magnet to the iron. So the iron must be oriented with the south pole near the north pole of the bar magnet. 
So the magnetic field is the area surrounding a magnet where the magnetic force from that magnet will interact with other magnetic materials. Opposite poles attract and the field lines run from the north pole to the south pole. Like poles repel and the field lines bend away from each other, coming out of the north pole, going into the south pole. 